This program contains scenes that have been dramatized, with special attention given to historical accuracy. When the Soviet Union invades Afghanistan, they go deep into the shadows to fight back. The U.S. government's initial reaction was, was very swift. We were going to give it everything we had, one last push. A huge covert action program to help drive the Soviets out. While future enemies lurk nearby, these undercover shadow warriors will take on a communist superpower on one of history's harshest battlefields. We have an opportunity to really punish the Soviets. They have made a rare mistake, and a mistake of large proportions. Go win this thing. December 24th, 1979. When Soviet troops invade Afghanistan, the Cold War suddenly becomes hot. Caught by surprise, U.S. officials worry the Soviets will continue their march into the territory of American allies. The Central Intelligence Agency is immediately directed to begin a covert action program to beat back the communists. Jimmy Carter issued a secret presidential finding shortly after the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. And he directed the CIA to go ahead and use all means to help the Afghans resist this. We're basically facing a, a country with nuclear weapon that could uh, destroy the United States a thousand times over. And that country was very unstable. Another advance for the Mujahideen is the arrival of reinforcements, volunteers from Islamic countries that have answered the call to jihad. The Arab volunteers began to arrive in small numbers at the beginning of the war, and their numbers and their role grew as the war developed. Afghans are willing to fight to the death, but their desire is to die in bed at an old age uh, when the Lord calls them home. So the Arabs came there to die. They were more than willing to charge into Soviet machine gun posts. They came there to, to become martyrs. One of the leaders among the Arab fighters is a wealthy young Saudi named Osama bin Laden. In 88 and 89, bin Laden's name began to appear in our operational traffic. Uh, we were getting reports from our Afghan Mujahideen friends that, that there was this uh, Saudi fellow named bin Laden who was a very wealthy guy related to some big family in Saudi Arabia. He had deep pockets. He showed up in soft leather shoes. He was a man who carried an air of uh, wealth about him, and he was generous. He handed out funds uh, at hospitals. His work was mostly concerned with uh, providing um, humanitarian aid. Uh, to the Mujahideen in terms of uh, food and uh, shelter. Bin Laden quickly expands his role in the Jihad. By the mid to late 80s, he began to do more than just hand out cash. He started to build things. Along the border where the key supply routes ran, he began to uh, construct with imported bulldozers and other equipment a kind of border infrastructure that would create uh, secure depots, supplies, hospitals, and camps. While the CIA had been heavily equipping and funding the Mujahideen, they say they avoided bin Laden and his fellow Arab fighters. While he was there, uh, during the Mujahideen struggle with the Russians, aid that the U.S. provided went to the Afghan forces, not to the Arab forces. We never had any contact. We never came close to having any contact. We didn't circulate in the same circles. The bottom line is they hated the Americans as much as they hated the Soviets. <laughs> 